How's it going everyone? PRM Collectibles here with another idle video. And so today we have Sakurazaka 46. So let's get started. And so here I have type A through D of Sakurazaka 46's latest single, Ikutsu no Koro ni Modori Tainoka. And so both of these are CD and Blu-ray combos. The difference between them is that each type has its own third track in the CD. And as far as the Blu-ray, we get a different part of a live event. Here we have a close-up of type A. And so of course, for the center of the single is going to be in the front cover. So there's Yamazaki 10. And then we look back here, we just have a hand there. And so the difference with type A is going to be the third track there. And so the Blu-ray portion, it actually contains a live from their Paris event. Now let's go ahead and open up type A first. There we have a closer look without all the packaging. And now for the back cover. Now let's go ahead and look through the booklet of type A. And so we start off with a hand, I guess. And so there we have Yamazaki 10. So this is actually some pretty cool, I like the background shots for this one too. So I guess it's gonna be like two different kinds of shots. You're gonna have like the Sakura ones like that. And then here you have this kind of pink background, which is pretty cool, I really like the shots. And then we have some Sakura in the back. Here's a close-up of type B. And so for the cover for this one, we have Fujiyoshi, Karin, and Morita. And in the back, we just have some Sakura petals um, going down. And so again, the differences, track number three. And so for the Blu-ray, this one is also an overseas performance. So this is their performance in the Philippines. Now let's open up type B. There's a close-up of the front cover, and now the back. Now for the booklet of type B, we start off with, I guess, hands. I'm assuming all of them are gonna start off with hands first, maybe. There we have a close-up of cutting. And so here, I really like this background on this one. I wouldn't have minded if some of the covers would have been like that. I think it would have been really cool. Of course, both of them were fine, but I really like that color and the look overall. And then here, this looks to be the same for um, compared to the last one. So I guess maybe the middle photo is gonna be the same and then the single shots are gonna be different. And then for the back, we have a bit of Sakura, but now this time there's a boot included. And so here we have type C, and this one has more members from the Senbatsu. So we have Moria there in the left, in the middle is Tamura, and then here we have Taniguchi. And so if we look back here, we have more um, Sakura petals. And so here, if we look for track number three, that's the difference. And so now this one's gonna be different for the Blu-ray. It is another live performance. However, it's the first half. So this is from their live theater at Milano. And so the first half is gonna be in type C. Now let's go ahead and open type C. There's a close-up of the front cover. And then the back. Now for the booklet of type C. Then we start off with another hand here. So there's Morita. 
And yeah, this backdrop and this uh, design is really cool. It'd be cool if we end up getting some photo cards of that design. So there we have Inoue. The same shot for the middle. There we have Uemura. Here we have some Sakura, and then more here in the back. Here we have type D, and so it's gonna be the remaining members in the front cover. Then if we turn back, we have a closer look at the Sakura. And so track three again is different for the CD. And so for the Blu-ray, this is a continuation of type C. So this is from Live at Theater Milano, except it is the second half of the concert. Now let's go ahead and open up type D. There's a close up of the front cover. Now the back. Now let's look at the booklet of type D. And so they threw us for a curveball in this last one. There's no hand in the front portion of it this time. So they did it for the first three, but not the last one. There we have Tamura. Then the same shot here for the middle. All right, this one is really cool looking like the both of them together like that. I believe this one's also the same now that I've seen it multiple times. There we have Fujiyoshi and Morita. Then here we have someone blurred out, but I think the intention is more to show like the Sakura design like that. And then there in the back, we have some distant Sakura. And so now the moment we've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and see what photo cards we get. Starting with type A, let's go ahead and see what photo card we get here. And it is Matono Mio. So for type A, we get Matono Mio. Let's see what photo card we get for type B. And it is Nakashima Yuzuki. So she's actually my favorite of the third generation. So for type B, we get Nakashima Yuzuki. Now for type C, we end up getting Masumoto Kira. So the always entertaining Masumoto Kira for type C. Now let's see what photo card you get here for type D. And it is Murai Yu. So from the third generation in type D, we get Murai Yu. And so overall, another great release from Sakura Zaka 46, especially this one because the Blu-rays each have their own live performance. And so you can't go wrong with either one. You can kind of get the one you like. The difference is gonna be that type A and B have their own individual ones. It seems like their overseas performances were shorter. It wasn't like a full concert like they do in Japan. And so that's gonna be how it is for type A and B. So for type C and D, they are a part of the same concert. So that one is a Japanese live event. So um, for those ones, you could pick whichever type you like the best. And of course you could always get C and D together, or you can get all four of them if you would like every single live event. And as for the photo cards, I did really well here, especially getting Nakashima because she is my favorite of the third generation. And so that's it for Sakura Zaka 46, Ikutsu no Koro ni Modori Tainoka. And so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Follow me at PR Mastodon on Twitter and Instagram. I do have a live streaming gaming channel on YouTube, PR Mastodon. So if you ever want to come hang out and chat, I'll be live there. And so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Kundas.